For me, being a guitar player and especially a Charvel signature artist, it's pretty much everything I've based my uh, life around, which is music. And from playing guitar, uh, starting at the age of nine, all I've wanted to do was be surrounded by music and the guitar. So to finally be able to design something of my own uh, with such an amazing company like Charvel, it's really brought like a, a dream to, to life. Hey, this is Phil Scrasso, and I'm hanging out at Charvel with my new signature Charvel Pro Mod SoCal. The process in putting this guitar together was my rep, Mike Tempesta, asking me if I wanted a signature guitar. And I think it's every guitar player's dream to have a signature guitar, which I've never had before. So. Uh, I was really grateful to have Mike and Peter Witchers, who I actually toured with back when I was 19, when he played guitar for Soil Work. So Mike and Peter from Charvel were very helpful in creating the design and the functionality of this guitar. Peter, obviously being a great guitar player from his years in Soil Work, uh, was very influential on just confirming I was going down the right path with whatever features I uh, wasn't necessarily sure of. He definitely gave me the confidence to uh, design something that we all three loved. Some of my favorite features of this guitar are the one rhythm pickup, which is a Fluence Modern, and it's got two voicings uh, that you can access through the volume knob. It's also got a Floyd Rose bridge, so there's a lot more options you can do with dive bombs and also with the tuning, kind of staying a little bit tighter and just easier to access through here. One of my favorite features of the guitar is the silver burst finish. I've always been a huge fan of this color combination and just how the silver fades out into black and also how the anodized pick guard sort of blends into it. I think aesthetically it looks um, just really clean. Another feature that I was really excited to have was the quick access truss rod wheel so that you don't have to take off your pick guard to adjust the bow in the neck. It's just right there uh, attached to the fretboard. And then we have an ebony fretboard, which I feel always looks really clean and we've got the lumen lay dots up top the lumen lay dots have helped me a lot several times when i'm on stage and it goes full blackout and they're able to let me know where i'm at when i have to start the next song also on the headstock we have an enlarged charvel toothpaste logo which fills up more space on the headstock and kind of combines a bit of the classic with the more modern look for Charvel. Also on the back of the guitar is the Phil Scrasso signature and the neck is maple wood. Another great feature on this guitar is the shredder's cut heel which gets you access to the higher frets when you're in shred mode and kind of need to comfortably play all the, the smaller frets a lot easier. I would say that all the features on this guitar influence my creativity and my songwriting by making me not have to worry about the guitar, not having to worry about anything uh, distracting the flow of being in the zone when writing new material or whether I'm performing on stage, I have a guitar that I can fully rely on. What's been great is playing with a lot of bands over the years, I've always been able to incorporate uh, my Charvel guitar into whatever sound that is. So it's always created a comfort for me, no matter what situation I'm adapting to. Some of my most influential guitar players growing up were Dave Murray and Adrian Smith from Iron Maiden. I've always loved the 
strats that they played and they just there's more attitude besides the more uh, old school like bluesy vibe it was more rock and metal and my very first guitar was a strat knockoff and then when i finally upgraded to a real guitar it was a strat so i've always had strat bodies in my playing whether in the studio or on stage so it was definitely a very big influence on going with this styled guitar for my signature some of my favorite charvel artists growing up were jakey lee uh, everything that he's done with Ozzy. Uh, I'm good friends with Jim from Slipknot, who actually sort of influenced me getting in contact with Charvel from his signature guitars. And uh, Gojira is another great band that I love seeing pushing the, uh, the Charvel brand. It's always the most rewarding feeling when someone tells you that they love the art and the music that you've created. So when someone tells me that they, they love a guitar that I created and they love playing it, and I couldn't think of anything more rewarding than uh, connecting with someone through something that you created. I would hope to influence young musicians to just keep pushing the bounds of what a guitar is capable of doing. and. I definitely enjoy uh, an old school or classic feel and look at times, but modernizing it uh, to kind of keep up with the times and keep pushing the envelope. Thanks for checking out my new Charvel signature. I'm grateful for the opportunity to have my first signature guitar, and I hope it inspires you as much as it inspires me.